Today, we'll introduce the popular and trusted cryptocurrency wallet MetaMask. You probably all know this wallet. MetaMask allows you to receive and send cryptocurrencies like USDT, USDC, and many other tokens. A huge advantage is its support for multiple blockchain networks, such as Ethereum, BNB Smart Chain, Polygon, Arbitrum, and more. So you can manage assets across different networks all in one place. The MetaMask wallet also works great for managing NFTs, connecting to DeFi, and securely signing transactions in Web3 services. It's available as a browser extension or a mobile app. Thanks to the integrated swap feature, you can directly exchange tokens with each other in MetaMask without needing to use an external exchange. Currently, this wallet is used by more than 100 million users worldwide. Another advantage is that it allows you to create and manage multiple accounts within a single wallet, which is ideal for separating personal and investment funds. But most importantly, MetaMask is a decentralized wallet. This means that it is not controlled by a central entity. So, there is no central company or server that has control over your funds. Additionally, security can be taken to the highest level by connecting it with hardware wallets like Trezor or Ledger. Installation and setup are very simple. For this tutorial, I'll be using my laptop and the Chrome browser. You can use other browsers as well. That's up to you. But if you want, you can also install MetaMask on your mobile phone in the same way. The process will be pretty much the same, so let's get started. Type MetaMask into the search engine. Right at the top, I'll go to the link metamask.io. On the right, I click on Get MetaMask. Make sure you're on the official website. You can see it says 15 million users here, and you can click through to more than 5,000 reviews, so the site is legit. We choose Add to Chrome. We click on Add. Another window popped up where I confirmed the terms and click on Create New Wallet. At the bottom, there's also an option to connect to an existing wallet, but that's not relevant for this tutorial. They want to collect our data and so on. We don't want that. Now, create a strong password, enter it here, and then type it again below. Again, we confirm the terms and select Create New Wallet. Now you need to go through the security process. Click the button on the right. At this stage, the wallet will generate 12 recovery words for you. This is an extremely important part. Write the words down somewhere safe so that no one else can access them. Because it could happen that you lose access to your phone or computer one day, and thanks to these words, you'll always be able to access your wallet. But if an attacker gets hold of these words, they can also access your funds from anywhere in the world. So be careful about that. I'm creating this wallet only for the purposes of this video, and I won't be using it. So I'll show you these words so you know what to do. But of course, you should never show them to anyone. I've shown you the words, so now it's time to write them down somewhere safe. Only if you've correctly written down the words somewhere can you click Next. And now we have a new window where the same words appear, but some fields are blank and need to be filled in. We wrote the words down in the correct order, so it's easy. We confirm, and then confirm once more. Then there are just some informational windows, which we also confirm. And now we're directly in the interface of our wallet. By default, the wallet is set to the Ethereum network. This means that both Ethereum and all tokens on this network can be sent to this address. Logically, you can also send tokens from the wallet. Of course, that's assuming you've sent a small amount of Ethereum here, which will be used to pay network fees for outgoing transactions. Now we'll click here, and here we can find the most commonly used blockchain networks. Right now, the Binance Smart Chain Network would be useful for me, so I'll click on Add. The wallet will ask me if I really want to add it, and I'll confirm. 
And now, I have the Binance Smart Chain Network added to my MetaMask wallet. You can often find it under the names BSC or BP20 as well. Now, a very important thing that some of you might not even know. If you manually add another blockchain network to your MetaMask wallet, for example Binance Smart Chain, you will have the same address on all of these networks. This means you can receive tokens to the same address from both the Ethereum network, ERC20, and the Binance Smart Chain, BP20. For example, I send myself 10 USDT from Binance or Bybit through the Ethereum network, and then another 10 USDT through Binance Smart Chain to exactly the same address in my MetaMask wallet. Both payments will arrive without any issues. In MetaMask, I simply switch the network and I can see each transaction separately according to the network, so it's clear and easy to follow. What I'm telling you now is very important and valuable information, because these types of transfers are where the most common mistakes happen. I'll explain right away. For example, if you go to the Bybit exchange and generate an address to receive USDT on the Ethereum network, and then you send 10 USDT from Binance to that address via the Ethereum network, and then another 10 USDT via Binance Smart Chain to the same address, only the first payment on the Ethereum network will be credited to you. The second one won't. It works differently on exchanges, and unfortunately, this is where the most common mistakes happen. If you send USDT to an exchange using a different network than the one you selected, for example, you choose the Ethereum network but send it via Binance Smart Chain, the tokens won't arrive. In the best case scenario, they'll be locked and you'll have to contact support. In the worst case scenario, you'll lose them permanently. Okay, that was just to clarify so you understand how the wallet works. Let's move on a bit. You can view the entire address like this. Click here, then on these three dots, account details, and you'll see both the address and the QR code for receiving tokens. Another very useful feature is separate accounts, which you can create on individual networks. Let's say you have account number one reserved for a specific business, but you have another business and you don't want to mix everything together. So you click up here. Then, to create an account, you type in a name for the second account here, or you can just leave the default name as account 2, and you confirm by clicking the blue button. Now you have a second account with a specific address, which works for all networks supported by the MetaMask wallet, and you can easily switch between these accounts like this. Of course, the same rules apply to the Binance Smart Chain network as to the Ethereum blockchain. That means, for example, if you hold some USDT here and want to send it somewhere, you need to have a small amount of BNB tokens here to cover the transaction fees. You can also use the same method to connect with hardware wallets, such as Trezor or Ledger. The thing is, the MetaMask wallet itself shouldn't be used for long-term storage of larger amounts. It's more suitable for short-term holding. However, if you properly connect it with a hardware wallet, its security will be on a whole different level. And in this case, we can really talk about a very secure and virtually unbreakable wallet. In the Google Chrome browser itself, go to the top bar and pin the wallet this way for easy access. And then, by clicking here or here, you can instantly access your MetaMask wallet at any time. That's basically everything we just went over a moment ago. You'll just have a smaller, more organized view like this on the side. And as I mentioned, if you need to add BNB for fees, just click here. Here I have the price and a chart displayed, then at the bottom I click the Receive button, copy the address or scan the QR code, and send the BNB here. There's nothing to it. If you want to adjust any settings on your account, it's better to switch back to the larger format so you can see everything clearly. Click the three dots at the top and select Expand View. Let's go over the basics. That means, for example, how to add USDT for a specific blockchain network. 
There are many ways to do it, and everyone has their own approach. I'll show you the safest one. Right now, I'm on the Binance Smart Chain Network and I want to add USDT. Click on the three dots and select Import Token. The first option is the easiest, but it's also easy to make a mistake here. You type USDT here, and you'll see a large number of USDT tokens on different networks, as well as various scams. If you're a beginner in crypto, you might pick the wrong one. A better option is to use a custom token. Go to the website coinmarketcap.com. Look up your STT, also known as Tether. And here, in the contracts row, you'll see the MetaMask icon. On the right, Hover over the arrow and you'll see the smart contracts for each network. I find the one I'm looking for. That means BNB, Smart Chain BP20, and I copy it. I go back to the MetaMask wallet and select the correct network. And I paste the smart contract address here. The other details will be filled in automatically. Under normal circumstances, I could just click Next and add USDT, because the information on the CoinMarketCap.com website is correct and verified. But after all, it's just a website and someone could hack it and change the information. So if you really want to be sure, go to BSCSkin.com, type USDT into the search bar, and select the option with the blue check mark, which means the contract is verified, and now you can compare both contracts. They are identical, so now you can safely add USDT to your MetaMask wallet. We click on Import again, and just like that, we've successfully added USDT on the Binance Smart Chain Network. When we click on it, we can find out more details about it. And this is how we get to the page where we just verified its authenticity a moment ago. Now we'll switch to the Ethereum blockchain and add USDT for this network in the same way. Again, click the three dots, Import Token, Custom Token, select Ethereum Mainnet, and on the CoinMarketCap.com website, we'll find the smart contract. I copy and paste it. Again, everything fills in automatically. If you want, you can also verify the contract's accuracy on the etherskin.io website. I type USDT into the search bar and select the smart contract that's verified with a blue checkmark. The contract address is here, and we can compare it with the address on coinmarketcap.com. It matches, so we can add the coin. And we're done. Next, you can click on the added USDT to view more information about it. So, this is how you can safely add USDT on the Ethereum network or on Binance Smart Chain. The last thing we'll go over are these functions. In the Buy Sell function, you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies for fiat currencies, such as euros, dollars, and so on, using third-party services. You can make purchases with a card, bank transfer, or other methods. Advantages. Direct purchase into your own wallet, speed, often within a few minutes and easy to use even for beginners. Disadvantages, high fees, often three to six percent of the amount, not all countries and currencies are supported, and of course, identity verification, KYC, is required. With the sell function, you can sell your crypto directly to your bank account or card. Advantages, a simple way to get money to your bank account, fast and convenient interface, and it works directly with MetaMask. Disadvantages. Higher fees than selling through exchanges. Not all countries and currencies are supported, and you have to enter your bank details and verify your identity again. So to sum it up, this might be interesting for someone who doesn't know how to use exchanges and swap services, needs speed, and doesn't mind the fees. But for those of you who have experience with other exchanges and swap services, where you know how to buy and sell with minimal fees, this option obviously doesn't make sense for you. 
I think most of you are probably looking for ways to save money and avoid paying ridiculous fees. Now let's talk a bit about the swap feature. Swap means exchanging one token for another directly within the MetaMask wallet. So you don't have to go to an exchange, like Binance, but you can do everything right in your wallet. Let's look at an example. Let's say you've sent USDT to your wallet on the Binance Smart Chain, but you need some BNB so you can make outgoing transactions from MetaMask. We'll go to Binance Smart Chain, select Swap, and use the arrow to switch it so that I exchange USDT for BND. For example, I'll enter 10 USDT, and MetaMask will calculate how much BNB I'll get for that amount. And you can see that it will be about 0.015 BNB. Of course, you have to keep in mind that this won't be free. There's a fee of $0.38, which I think is manageable, especially if you're in a hurry. But there's one big but. If you don't have any BNB at all in your MetaMask, the swap won't be possible. That's because BNB is the only token used for fees on this chain. So if you want to make this kind of swap, you absolutely need to have at least the equivalent of a few cents in BNB here. So keep that in mind. You can send it here from Binance or any other exchange, for example. There are plenty of ways to do it. And of course, the same thing applies to the Ethereum blockchain as well. If you want to make a swap and you don't have any Ethereum, the swap won't be possible. Since we're talking about this, let me remind you once again that without Ethereum or BNB, you can't send anything from your MetaMask wallet. MetaMask isn't a charity, and it definitely won't pay your transaction fees for you. And the last thing we're going to look at is the bridge function. A bridge is used to transfer cryptocurrencies between different blockchain networks. For example, you have USDT on the Ethereum network, but you want to use it on the Binance Smart Chain network. A bridge allows you to transfer tokens between these networks. We can try it out. Let's say I want to transfer 10 USDT on Binance Smart Chain and I want to get this USDT onto the Ethereum blockchain, all within my MetaMask wallet. And as you can see, this transfer will cost about 37 cents. But when it comes to fees, it will be the same as with swaps or outgoing transactions. If you don't have a little bit of BNB, the transfer won't be possible. Alright, I think this should be enough as a basic guide. If you liked the video and it helped you, I'd appreciate it if you rewarded me with a like and a subscription so you don't miss future tutorials. Take care.